Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Gamma. We're playing more XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, and we're trying to kill a VIP soldier. Um, debating about potentially just getting to the exit and then blowing him up from there, but uh, there is a nice little building here. We probably want to get on top of the building. The question is, can we get on top of the building? I'm a little worried. Well, okay, number one, number one, number one. Who has our grapples? Okay, we could get up there. Uh, see, this isn't cover. That's what I was wondering. What about putting ourselves up here with our sniper? Eh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You know what? I'm going to put ourselves here. This is not cover, but this should give us a lot of vision and should give us a really good idea with what we want to do next. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're safe to do this, right? Hmm, there could be someone inside the building. Alright, so then let's do this. Let's get, like, Witcher. And let's get you over here to get as much vision over in this corner as possible. Oh, frick. Andromedan over there. Alright, that's fine. So then let's get you up here, then. Position confirmed. Because this should be safe now. And this is a single move, so he'll still have another move after this. Um, Looks like hot sounds over here. <laughs> and that's another Andromedan. Fudge! Fudge! That's actually only two guys there, though. Was there a third? That's not too terrible, though. We could definitely take that. This is cover, though. It doesn't look like he's in cover. How do we want to do this, then? Good question. Good question. So let's do this. I'm going to bring you over here. Let's get you as far forward as possible, and I should be able to grapple you onto the building, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's get you up here. So here's the ideal. I would rather just ignore this way. I just don't think it's going to be possible. We actually lose vision on a lot of these guys right there. Because of the towers. That might be a better spot, or even up there. You know, even though I'm going to lose vision on one of the guys, I'm still going to put you right there. And we'll live with it for now. And then let's just get everyone else up here as far as possible. I don't really know who, who we're going to go for first yet. Yeah. We know it's safe, though, which is nice. Uh, Mr. Robot can just run up here, which is awesome. I love the fact that Robit can jump. So the thing is, I want to attack from the roof. That's going to be the goal. You're going to probably not be in cover, but that's okay. Unless someone comes our way. Then that's not okay. He's really tired. We'll just overwatch. You're fine where you're at. I don't really want to move any further forward. So ideally, we don't attack those guys on the right at all. Did they move? It did not look like they moved. So I'm thinking if we put you guys up here, we might lose vision on them. Move, move, move. I would really love just to kill the VIP. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh no, there's a third guy there. Target identity confirmed. I would really love just to kill the VIP. Uh, this should be safe. Maybe. That actually might reveal these guys there. But we did lose vision on the other squad, so I'm just going to stay here then. Okay. And then you guys are all going to get up here as well. And we basically just want everyone up here. Um, Robic can get into a better spot so we can actually have full cover. Yeah, that's probably not a bad thing. So let's put, like, Robit here. Because there's actually not cover. And then you can go right here. We'll do this. Rolling out. So full cover plus the elevation bonus, there's no way he gets hit. None of these guys should really get hit. All right, and then we're just going to overwatch, and we're just going to overwatch, and we're just going to overwatch. And we're going to probably go hard this next turn if we, only, if we don't have vision. Yeah, we don't have vision on these guys. How do we want to go hard? That's the question. I mean, way number one is... Probably Plasma Grenade. It shreds the armor. 
Does a little bit of damage. We'll get another shot. Blows up a lot of the cover here, too. I think we're going to do this. Yeah, screw it. Let's go. And remember, we're going to be able to pistol shot the crap out of these guys. But we got to get this Andromeda dead. Do we have stasis? Did we bring her on this mission? Yeah, we did. Okay. Hi. We're visible here. Welcome. So half cover, half cover. And you're in full cover. Which is kind of what I was expecting. So what I want is, I want to go robe it now. We're going to overdrive. Then we're going to try getting rid of some of this cover. Like. Because he's got really good explosive range. Also, this is going to finish off the rest of their armor. I did not blow up his cover. Fudge. Fudge. So this is a 69%. I think I have to take this. So the whole goal with that was to basically give me, uh, give everyone else a better chance to shoot him. You now have a 100% shot to hit this guy. Uh, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we got free shot. This guy's a robot. We could hack, I don't think it's worth it. We could pistol shot someone else. That kills you. Uh, I don't wanna shoot that guy. Uh, okay, so we can't actually, we can't face off. Nah, because if we face off, then we're going to kill that guy. All right. So let's just kill some people then. I could use my sniper rifle, but there's no reason. If we're getting the kill here with the pistol, there's no reason not to just keep doing it with the pistol. All right. I wrecked that Andromedan. That was nice. That felt good. That felt good. So my robot... Did we kill the other guy? Oh, we killed the other guy. Oh, all right. Uh, so we basically wasted his overdrive then. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Monto la guardia. Overwatch protocol engaged. Now I'm assuming what's his name? The little VIP is not going to run away. All right. So we want to engage this other wave. I think we're going to have to, right? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Nah, this will definitely engage because the window. Yeah, frick. I thought about that. I should have gone the other way because we could have gone around the backside and been fine. Probably not engaged everyone. Now he's in a very awkward spot too. Mm. Yeah, he can't really do anything. Well, we could run and gun. We can run and gun him back up. So let's do this. Overdrive would be so great right about now, just FYI. No. 76, 71, 66. We could probably blow up that guy's cover. Is that what we want, though? I think we do. I know he's not in cover right now. Uh, I can put him in cover because this isn't in his turn. Oh, we knocked him off into the... Oh, all right. Wasn't what I was looking to do. Yeah, that actually didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, whoopsie. Let's not talk about that, please. So no. 96, 76. Okay, he's still floating. All right, we're gonna do that. Get him shredded. Then. I'm gonna take you here. I'm trusting you here. And the goal is to murder 
this guy. We missed. I think. I actually have no idea what happened. We've kind of screwed up the, the map a little bit here. Yeah, we kind of screwed it up a little bit. So here's the problem I can see right now, is he's going to poison us. We do have stasis. I'm going to have to use stasis on him. Yeah, we're going to have to. Unfortunately, you also have the flash. Hmm. I don't know if the other guy's dead or not. Because we can't really see. What's over there? We're going to rupture this other guy for the free crit. Rupture. Oh, actually, that'll blow up everything. Huh. 74%. Yeah. This is a kill if we hit it. Nice. Nice. One down, thousands to go. And then you just have a um, run. Okay. You might now... Tired of waiting around. Yeah, we might actually be okay here. Because this won't end your turn. This shouldn't end your turn. I don't see the other guy here, by the way. So we might just be able to get a kill here. No, but we're going to be able to do a lot of freaking damage. Actually, hold up. Face off. Fire once. No, 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 no. He doesn't have fan fire. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Instant kill. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, so good. So good. So good. Is this other guy alive? I don't think so? It doesn't look like it. No, doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, go conceal. In the shadows. And I'm going to move you down here. Because I'm pretty sure there's one more wave of enemies. Hostiles making the rounds. Yeah, they're there. So, my whole plan was to run over there and grab that guy, and I'm so glad I didn't. Here's the thing, I actually thought about doing that last turn, too. Yeah. I literally thought about doing that last turn. Uh, just go grabbing that guy, which would have been so catastrophic. All right, well, let's get some people moved down. I don't think that's going to see the robot. I should have double-checked on that before we did it. Okay, what's the tower when we hack it? This isn't the guy we want to hack with anyways, but just, just taking a quick look. So 50% will reduce their enemy will, or we can disorient them. Or enemy group will be alerted to our position. I don't really like any of that. If it doesn't give us, like, map-wide stuff, or, like, you know, the galactic map kind of stuff, I just don't really care. I think we want to probably Overwatch, because you still got plenty of ammo. We're going to get you over here, behind Robit, buddy. Should be fine. Sniper is good to go. Let's do this. And actually, before we move, let's actually put the sniper up here. Uh, if we're gonna hit those guys, man, then again, then again. Man, the height is nice, but I really want the pistol. But then again, I can't use fanfire for three turns. So we'll get you right here. I can't fanfire for three turns. So we'll overwatch. I'll put her down here. Probably gonna end up stasising the gateway if I had to guess. Is it just two? Uh, that was weird. Is it just the two? Oh god. <laughs> They're going to die. <laughs> They're going to die. So hopefully they come at me, because we got quite a few overwatches going. But it doesn't seem like the enemies in this map want to move. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they want to move. So hey, can I just by chance kill? Not you. Uh, shield bearer, elite lancer. Golly. No. 
close though. Gatekeeper. Wait, there are two guys over there. There's a shield bearer over there. There's a shield bearer in the middle. <laughs> He's literally inside the gateway. They have evolved, guys. <laughs> they have evolved. All right, so two turns here. We still got 19 turns left. We also have this sucker here. It's probably how we want to go, just to make sure that they can't take cover behind either of those. Then again, I probably want them to take cover behind those. I think we're gonna wait another turn. Affirmative, covering now. Affirmative, covering now. I think we're gonna wait another turn. Let's reload you. Just so we can get like, we'll probably wait two turns just so we can get rupture back. Uh, and we can get our overdrive back. So I can take some extra shots. I mean, we got 19 turns. I don't really care. We're fine. Okay. Skip. 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 Do we want to open with Rupture? Kind of. Essentially guaranteed kill if we hit it. This looks valuable. Nice. Okay, well that's one way. Hi. Dude, I love that. Like, that's so great. Just being able to instantly kill him. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Oh, you get another attack. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucks to be you, buddy. Um, what about dual strike? Screw it. Let's dual strike this guy. Uh, all right, never mind. There you go. Nice dual strike. <laughs> Not really worth it, but you know. Eh, eh, eh. Sure, sure, sure. So let's move you here. Get you as close as possible. Moving. Moving. And then you're gonna take two shots. Hold up, I thought I hit one. Okay, I'm trying not to accidentally kill that guy. You're gonna take two shots here. 61% is not great. Sweet. Doing some shreds. And then you're going to 46. Can we get two 50-50s? Basically? We did, and we got a crit there. Holy balls, that was lucky. Uh, okay, so he's just dead then. Yeah, he's just straight dead. All right, well, let's just do it. I don't know if my pistol's in range, but I'm just gonna get the kill. Uh, did we move too close with our robot? No, we didn't, good. Good. Okay, well, guess what? We're here to beat you. <laughs> just run up and punch him. I mean, you know, that is an option. That is an option. Yeah, we blew up all our cover here, so hopefully we don't run into anyone. So we need to go grab that. We're gonna go beat you, collect your crap. Probably gonna be reinforcements. Let's do this. I would put reinforcement at like a 90% likelihood. So I think this was it. I think it was just nine guys, right? Pretty sure. Everyone's freaking out about the fire. No reason to freak out about the fire. All right, give me whatever this is. Now, I think if we evacuated before, uh, you had just get it. it. So we didn't necessarily have to do that, but eh, whatever. So, uh, punch. Subdue. Blunk. So that was green. That was a free ability, right? Nope, that was not free. So it's going to take her one extra turn to get there. She's yelling at me in a foreign language. Okay. We'll put you here. We'll probably sit the robot in front of you. For cover. We're gonna get everyone around the robot. 
for cover. What's over there? We could hack again, but no. Definitely don't want to hack at this point, because we saw what the negatives were. Uh, I'm just going to move you right here. I don't even care about cover. Okay, so the next turn we're out. Is it clear? Cool, let's go. Well, yeah, there's our reinforcements. So, don't matter. Let's get out of here. So, get everyone in, please. I guess that'll be okay. Finally. And then evacuate, evacuate. Let's make sure we actually hit the right evacuate button. Uh, that's five. Almost hit the wrong one. Evacuate. What if we dropped him and then evacuated? I wonder what happened. I guess you would just lose. I would assume you just lose. Well, that was exactly how you're supposed to do that mission. Boom. Uh, let's do it like this. And take photo. Nice. Continue. No rest until Earth is ours again. So we're just breezing through these missions. Now, I'm pretty sure we are doing Chosen next, right? And then we're basically into the game. I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to the end of the game at this point. So I do want to kill off the last Chosen. Like, I don't need to kill the last Chosen, I think. But at this point, we might as well, just because. The only thing that's going to suck is our last mission. No levels. We're not even get like, who are we going to actually take? <laughs> like, I don't know. So, by the way, I did end up looking. Uh, if you kill the, uh, I, I looked, uh, I googled it before the uh, last mission, or actually at the end of the last episode. Uh, but if you kill the VIP, you basically don't get the intel. That's the only difference, which we didn't really need the intel, but I figured we might as well just go save it. We could have just murdered everyone there and been fine. So she's training while she's tired. That's perfect. Um, do we have any abilities? We do want... Was it Witcher? He's only tired for one day. Rapid fire, deep cover. No, 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 no. We want uh, Miyamoto. But you actually have it. Never mind. Oh, no. We do actually want Witcher. We would like him to grab probably Phantom at some point, but that's okay. That's okay. I guess let's just go get this next mission. Into the fire is done in two days, and then she's ready to go in three. Wait. Where was our research? Hi. Not now. I don't even know what we're doing. Supply drop. Sign a gate. Six days. Okay. What are we doing? Are we building a tower? To we were. As they were. And yet, once again, you their most valuable yeah, I'm going to go pillage you too, just FYI. He's going to be a pain, though. I am not looking forward to this mission. I am not looking forward to this mission. This one's going to be bad. This is going to be a bad one. We've learned another piece of information about the Chosen and their schemes. If we want to take out the Chosen once and for all, we should move to strike their stronghold. So Archon. has found our access point. We just have to make use of it. Viper, Elite Officer, Heavy Mech, Elite Purifier, Elite Trooper, Elite Shield Bearer, and the Dromedon. The Dromedon sucks, man. Everything else there is actually fairly easy. We just got to remember to save all of our abilities for that last area. Now, we need Templar, right? Because he's weak to the Templar. God, that teleport. He's just going to be a pain, man. This might just be a suicide mission. I, I Like, honestly, I'm, I'm really worried about that. But we've come this far. We might as well go kill him off. Uh, recruit scientists, resistance order, gather intel, recover loot, manufacture, fabricate PCS. Sure, let's just do that. Uh, and then give me Amelia Earhart. Dodge plus six. Actually, giving her dodge wouldn't be the worst thing. Uh, but we'll give Ellen the dodge. And then we'll do that so they don't get wounded. Eh, I don't care if they get wounded. I don't care if they get wounded. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Do we actually level? No. So let's finish the relay before we attack the base. Because finishing this here then gives us the one uh, turn breaks. Which might come in handy. Okay. Let's keep training her. Void Rift. Sustain Fortress. We might honestly take her. I think I probably am going to take her. What's Sustain? If she takes enough damage, they're put in stasis for one turn. Make them immune to fire, poison, acid, explosive. Or can mentally control someone. Yeah. 
I kind of like the idea of mentally controlling someone. I think we are going to take her, though. Because being able to sustain or basically stasis... It's like a frost. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think if that's our best option. I don't want the robot. The robot's going to be worthless. The robot's going to be worthless. We actually have one day left. Well, let's fly over... Where's the base? Oh, there we go. Gas bomb. Eh, I don't care about that. Plotting new course. I'm worried. I am massively worried. So we want a team on this. So we want a team on this. We want a team on this. So, okay. We can't take. We need Outrider on this mission. So I don't think we can actually take uh, Wanda then. No, I don't think we can because we need Igor. And then if we're gonna roll with one of every other class, we can't take her. So we need Specialist. We need Dahlia. We also then want uh, Miyamoto. Nah, actually I think we're gonna take our new one. I think I'm gonna take Sure because I think she's better, right? And they're equal, I think, at this point. Um, but we need Matoko. No, uh, yeah, so we got Dahlia, we got Mountain. We want Matoko. And I think we'll take Jaina. And I think we have to just do Igor. And I think we have to do it this way. Who would we drop is the question. Because I need Igor. I suppose Outrider, because we could just use Matoko as our scout. I just don't like that. I just don't like that. The problem is Outrider, she becomes worthless when it hits that last area. Because she does so little damage. Hmm. I think we roll this way. I think we roll this way. You know who would also be great because there's so many humanoids. Being able to grab the humanoids out of cover with uh, Pradle would be great as well. I need the sniper because she's going to murder the uh, Archon. And by the Archon, I mean the... Uh... And also, she's great at killing the tower from range. What about... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Because... She then is going to be able to shoot that tower and do ridiculous amounts of damage with it because she'll have the extra upgrades on it, too. So, okay. Okay. I think we should be able to take it out pretty easily. Uh, so let's do this. Matoko, we did... I'm pretty sure we were still doing... We might have been doing race suit on you. Oh, I didn't actually... I'm like, where's all my stuff? I think we were doing race suit on them. Getting the race suit might actually be helpful. Who would do heavy? You would do heavy. We could do heavy here. And then, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we do. So, load out. I'm going to give you the wraith. Or we could give her rage. Nah, there's no reason. It's just a little more damage. Or a little more HP. I think I'd rather just give, give you that. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then, I don't know what we should do with grenades. I really honestly have no idea what we should do. Um, probably a Mimic Beacon so we can survive at least one round there at the end. Mimic Beacon will be fine because we're going to save it for the last fight. Then we're going to go grab you. Uh, we're going to grab the War Suit. You're going to get the Better Beam Cannon. The Advanced Grenade Launcher. The Rocket Launcher. The Shredder Gun. Now nah, we want the Rocket Launcher. And then Grenade Grenade. Yeah, we want to stack grenades. Stack grenades with you. Uh, and then Mr. Mountain, I guess we're going to give you the other war suit. 
Now, the Rage Armor also gives... But I think I'd rather just do the War Armor, right? Less mobility. Actually, the Rage Suit is strictly better. Yeah, it is just strictly better. And it gives him a rocket, too. So, all right. That's fine. Do we want the Bolt Caster is the question. I actually say no. God, does so much damage, though. Because the problem is, if I have to move him in that last round, it's just going to be terrible. Oh, but it's so good damage. I mean, 10 to 12 versus 7 to 9. Actually, it's 11 to 13. It's so good damage. I can't, I can't not take it. Mm -hmm. So you need something. Honestly, Dragon Rounds, man. Just for instantly killing units. Instantly kill the Warlock, too. But I think I need my flashes and stuff like that. I think I'm going to take flash, so worst case scenario, I run you into cover and then flash people. In that last mission. Uh, and then Sniper, you got the Frost. Dark Lance, Dark Claw. Oh yeah, let's take the right weapons this time. And then blue screen rounds. So you're going to murder. What about giving him blue screen rounds actually too? Because then between both of them, we would just be able to wreck that tower. You know what? I think I'm going to do that instead. I think I'm going to give you blue screen rounds instead. Ah, let's look. Let's look. Let's wait. Let's wait. Okay, then Igor. You got the armor. You got the best. You got the best. Because I could give you the flash. Yeah, I think I give you the flash then. Because we got a frost with her. And then we literally can't give you anything. You already have the better rifle. But we have the claymore slash um, homing beacon. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm tempted not to take her. But I just don't want to run into... Like, I would rather not face guys we don't have to. So, uh, what were we going to switch up? We were going to grab you and we were going to give you the uh, blue screen round. So you're going to do stupid amounts of damage to the tower, uh, as will um, Jaina, or whatever her name is. Uh, and then you are going to grab the flash. Gas bomb's just poison, right? Yeah, it's worthless. So then... Flash. I mean, it's not worthless. I just, I don't like damage over time because I like killing them. It's only difficult? What? I kind of call bullcrap on that? I mean, for the most part, everyone was pretty easy other than the Archon. The problem is that last mission, that last uh, fight is going to be a pain. Now, if I can, like, one-hit that tower with both of these guys in one turn, which is a possibility, we might be GG. We could even look at grabbing another blue screen round with her. But I don't think so. So we're going to launch this mission. Next episode's going to go down. This will definitely be a two-parter like it's been. Uh, once we do that, then I think we're good to do probably... I don't... Okay, there's still one mission, like, in the towers. It's, like, on top of a bunch of buildings, I remember. So there's still that mission, and then there's still the final mission. So we gotta, I think, at least two more main missions after that, which we'll probably be able to instantly go do, but we'll see. Now, I, I don't... I, I assume... I don't think they were back-to-back. -back. So I don't think it's a case where we don't want to take our A-team on that second-to-last mission. I don't remember. I might want to Google that, though, just to double-check on that. This is the moment we've all been waiting yep, for. Yep, we've been here. We've done this. That's the other thing, too. I totally forgot that we actually don't come in to quiet. You know what to do. Locking on to the Chosen's energy signature. Uploading the coordinates now. Understood. Move out. Such bravery. <laughs> Such steadfast determination. Such arrogance. To step foot in this sacred temple and dare strike down a child of the gods. Your hubris is your downfall. Except I've already struck down two children of the gods without uh, that much difficulty in the scheme of things. So, yeah, suck it. Where are we going, by the way? He said uploading coordinates now, and then he didn't actually tell me where we're supposed to go. Okay. Well, there's a lot of room in this direction, but we can't actually go that way, so we're going to have to either pick that way or this way. This way definitely seems like a much smaller area. I mean, because here's the thing. We kind of want to get to where we're going with fighting as few people as possible, so I'm thinking maybe we won't actually go that way. Like, my original... I was literally... When I started that explanation, I was like, we need to go this way. Then again... 
Nah, we gotta go this way. There's also height there, too. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think, as always. Hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, show your support. Um, I'll see you next episode. So, I guess this is my ultimate thinking. If there's a wave here, even if we go this way, I feel like we're gonna end up having to fight it because of how they pace, and I'd rather fight it up here. So usually what was happening is the waves we weren't having to fight were in a room by themselves. And this kind of seems like that, is there might be a room there by themselves. But anyways, I'll see you then. Bye, everyone.